through Stephen. A filthy herb grubber will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. Then what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. I think I can help. You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Our chances against renegades were pretty good. <coughs> but now, I'm not so sure.
Juan, Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Is there anything I should know about? Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? <laughs> about what? About a ghost? Yeah, right. Anyway, the cathedral's been locked up for years, but there's scaffolding around it. You could probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. <laughs> Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Margaret needs to rest. She's running herself into the ground because of those damned renegades. Okay, I understand. But this really is an emergency. Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up, but you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, what does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers. When they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you.
Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. That's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
My family lived in government housing, down in Houndfield. Ugly building, built after World War II. Me, my parents, and my brother. I was 16 at the time. One day, we came home and waiting on the doorstep was this massive black cat. White moon patch of fur. Sitting there, like it owned the place. Arrogant creature. When he saw us, he got up, yawned stretched his legs and waited for the door to open mum scared it off uh-huh my kind of lady old man my mother would have scared you off you limp dick shut your gobble and quit interrupting all right Sheesh. next morning we opened the door and there it was the cat zoomed right inside needless to say mum got rid of him once more but after that, he would show up every day, sometimes appearing inside without anyone even opening the door. My mother eventually gave in because Mooncake wore her out. Aww, Mooncake. Cute. Not gonna lie, he was a creepy little critter. He would appear and disappear at will, stare at us like he was listening to us. When the pandemic broke out and Philidor locked down in 23. As the patient, he's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it!
<sighs> How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. How long will it take for him to recover? Days, weeks. He's strong and otherwise in good health, so days is a likely scenario. As long as he's allowed to rest. I'm sure his family will want to be by his side. Master and